what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by make sure you hit that subscribe button and no notification bell and uh, today we got a little video on the Jaguar see if we can't keep this trunk lid open without using a prop rod or knocking that away so it won't fall down and knock you in the head um, but it says hopefully it's a quick video and it shouldn't take us too long but I'll show you what I got going on basically you lift the trunk up and you either gotta put a prop rod in it or something to hold it up while you're working in there so you don't fall down on you. And these trunks have, um, you know, like gas shocks or hood shocks, but in the trunk. So I'm gonna get y'all brought around here, get a little closer so you can kind of see what's going on. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I said basically it's your like lift shock, lift support shock that bolts on or snaps onto a 10 millimeter ball. And I'm not gonna be able to show y'all everything inside there, but I'll kind of show you out here. Basically what you do is for your old ones, you lift this up, pop it off, both sides lift up and pop off, and then snap it back into place. Um, I'm gonna do the best I can to kind of show y'all what's going on. Inside of my trunks looks a little different than most of them because usually they have all the carpet and the backing. But I had pulled it out previously to replace the fuel pump in this and I need to clean up some um, just debris that's inside here from where it's set for so long. So, but the, first of all, I got this side's currently off right now. It was actually broken. I don't know what happened to it, but it was broken previously. So this side doesn't have one. This side has one. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly install this one and flip y'all around. And, and um, hopefully y'all be able to see the other one. So, get up in here and see how everything's going. Not, they're not too easy to get to, but just do your best to try to get up in there and get to them. I'm trying to stay out of out of the camera. But it doesn't want to work. Like I said, it might be kind of tight to get to, especially the ones in the back. You really can't see them. Well, that's one on and right there is a good difference right now so now i flip you all around to this side and y'all can watch me struggle to try to get this side off which is probably not going to be any fun so 
I got some wire ties I got to cut off. This one. front is definitely the easiest ones to get off trying to get to the back ones is is the problem might gotta use a long screwdriver I wouldn't grab the light so maybe I could see a little something better I don't know what's better, a little pick or a screwdriver. All right, so the pick worked the best. You can see how, y'all can see that or not, but you can see how bad these are. There's no resistance to them whatsoever. So we'll set it, set it aside, pull the new one out. Should just snap on. If you can see what you're doing, it'll probably be a thousand times easier. Backs on, so now we just gotta spin it around to hook the front. I don't hit myself in the head with that. All right, there you go. All right, so now we have the trunk lift supports on. So now, when you lift it up, it stays up. So. I have been working in here and had that prop bar up. And I've hit it and it, it fell on me. And this trunk lid's pretty heavy. And I can tell you, it didn't feel too good. But now, it's good to go. Well, again, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. All that good stuff, the notification bell. I'm still trying to get to that 500. I'm um, sorry, uh, a thousand subscriber mark and uh, all the subscribers that are currently subscribers, thanks. And any new ones, thanks. And um, I'll see y'all in the next one.